So I'm not sure if you'll relate to this, but I do 3D modeling and often I would get a texture. I don't have a high quality texture and I just want to put it onto the object and I want to create more tiling of it. And um, you need to sort of fiddle with it. Or in the case that I'm referencing now is I had a client. They wanted to create a, a visual of a repeated logo on the back wall. Now, you know, the usual option is you come in and you create an area. And let me just say, uh, I'm going to just create a color area here. And you'd kind of go and place an object. Oops, uh, this is not where I want to be. This is, I'm going to come to this just now. Uh, let me see, was it pictures? No. Um, yeah, let me just go in here quickly. I think that logo is somewhere lying around here. Oh, is it here? Yes, I think it's maybe a PNG. I'm using this one specifically because this was what was required. So uh, you take the thing and then, you know, I'd go Alt, drag it to where the point is and then copy it that way. Well, let me delete that. I'll go control C and I will move it across or I would no 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 let me change that I'll go control J move it across and then just control J again and then it replicates and then I'll copy this kind of thing and control J and just move it down because control J is duplicate but it also remembers the last movement in, instead of only the the duplicate um, the layer it remembers the last movement also so now I can go control J J J like that okay but you know then you, you're sitting with pretty much all of this over here which is a bit of a mess so um, let me just get back to history I'm gonna just push this all back to say that point so what I prefer doing and what I've checked that works better is if you drop in you place an object in okay so you can't copy and paste it you've got to place it because placing an object into the program is very different to pasting it okay so the one is paste and the other one is place so let me show you here that is the one I'm looking at there it's place and not paste so I will go and I will place that object, um, same logo. I would place it on the area here. Now usually uh, I put it towards the middle. It's a good space to start with. So how do you replicate this all here in a quick go? Okay, there's two methodologies you can use, but it uses the same core uh, background system. The reason why I talk about placing is because when you place it, you have the ability to convert to curves. If I have to paste this, I won't be able to convert to curves. So now I've placed it, I go convert to curves. And as you know, when you've got curves, you have nodes. So when I click on the node tool, you'll see it shows up with nodes. And those nodes are only available because I placed it and converted to curves. Now you the two ways I was talking about is the one way you could just grab one node and push it to the maximum of this canvas area you're working on. Because where you extend these nodes to is where the replicated um, images are going to appear. So if I go there and down there, it's two moves, there's three moves and there's four moves. Okay, That's pretty much what you do now. If you see this area here, this is actually the last pixel that has been extended, pulled, and the pixel there, this pixel and that pixel has been pulled up. But you wanted to do that because now you're increasing the area on which this replication is taking place. Next step would be to go to the Fill tool, click there, and with the Fill tool now you'll see that you have Maintain Aspect Ratio. I would, If it's not on, I'd click it. You can always unselect it afterwards and modify. But here's the key area you go to repeat and this is the type of fill you have okay so the fill could be a gradient fill it could be other types of fills here i'll go and i'll say wrap instead of repeat and look what happens wrap boom 
Okay, and if you want to modify it, you can just grab the handles, pull it, size it, rotate it like you want to. Keep shift to constrain it for straight. So that's how it is. That's how simple it is. So I'm going to just go back to this point and I'll show you the other way that you can do it. So I've just got right back to the point of our nodes. You could also take two nodes at a time. Keep shift so you constrain it so it doesn't shift up and down. It does exactly the same but you do that's one move. That's two move and then you grab the two nodes at the bottom and keep your shift to constrain it to the corner. These two shift to constrain it. So you've done exactly the same but you've done them with two nodes at a time and pretty much the same thing would apply. Um, once you're on this area let's see uh, oh uh, here we go to the full and then I'll just go to wrap and there we have it. So this is very uh, helpful also for when you're doing um, 3D uh, modeling and you need a texture like this is what I, what I did for one of my textures it's not this exact texture but I'm going to just place this let's go into we have a brick texture uh, boom bricks okay I think this is a JPEG that's why we're not seeing that okay let me just choose um, this is a brick here yeah. So we draw that piece out and you kind of have an idea of how it is but now at the expense of copying and pasting and, and trying to align up you do the same thing that you've just done now with the background logo. So we'll go in and because we've placed it we have the ability to convert to curves. Go to node tool. Um, I'm going to just pull it to the corner. Just makes more sense to me. And just make sure you got snap on so that it can snap there else you might go right past that space and snap is up here. So if we pull it down there. Okay there's the texture. Those are the one single pixels that have been extended. So we've got to go to the fill tool. Make sure uh, maintain aspect ratio and we go to warp and there we have it. And of course then we can grab accordingly size it. If we switch this off then we can size it um, into different uh, proportions we can modify it along the way and there are a few little other things you can do here and modify but this is pretty much how you can create a, a, a texture and then to a great extent you can align this edge with that to make sure that it's styleable and so forth but that's up to you to take it to the next level okay so here we can rotate size it pull it make it narrow whatever you want to do with it okay so hopefully that has helped and uh, yeah have a fantastic day and god bless